When I first arrived here at the consulate, I noticed a real disconnect between some of the amazing art that I saw in the laneways throughout Melbourne and what we had here inside the consulate. When the consulate first approached me to, to create this, uh, it was you know, a real, real honour um, based on the concept, the, the themes, um, and what it is and the space that it's going to be in. The theme of this artwork is civil rights heroes. And we wanted to highlight people who rose above their circumstances to accomplish just incredible, extraordinary things. So we have behind me Rosa Parks, who was a, a seamstress in Alabama who refused to sit in the back of the bus. We have John Lewis, who organized nonviolent protests that led directly to the Voting Rights Act. We also have James Farmer, who organized the Freedom Rides throughout the segregated South. And we have Ruby Bridges, and the six-year-old girl who helped desegregate the New Orleans public schools. The background is actually a, an abstracted image of a civil rights march that we've then used to break down into colour fields to provide a really strong background that the canvases could then be sit on. For the canvases, it really is for me a a process of working sort of front to back and just creating layers and layers and layers and building it up. And then for the mural, it's a, a similar process where it's layers and again, just working the shapes front to back until it all looks nice and clean, finished, and you know, everything's nice and saturated, rich color. Most consular waiting rooms are pretty functional. They're designed to get people from point A to B to C and then out the door. And we wanted to do something better than that. We wanted to provide a warm, welcoming environment and also to tell a story, something that we're proud of, a story of American dignity and decency. And that's where we came up with the idea of making our consular waiting room into a hall of heroes of the civil rights movement. I think the main takeaway with regards to this is I want people to react by having a conversation because you know even if people do have a negative attitude towards something like this it's only through the conversation that that can be changed and you know we can start to create you know a positive dialogue